What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is I guess part two to the video how to troubleshoot and fix TVs without a multimeter. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be replacing the TCOM board which I believe was causing the um, bad picture on this TV. And I'm gonna show you um, how to use your multimeter, how to troubleshoot the, you know, this particular issue. If, whether you have um, vertical lines on the screen or you have uh, half a black screen and half a good screen or you have no picture whatsoever or you, if you have a bright washed out um, picture like this one has. So let's go ahead and I'm going to turn it on and show you what's going on if you didn't watch the other video. It's bright haze. I try to lower the brightness, try to lower the backlight settings, still the haze would not go away. So what we did is we uh, unplugged the TCOM board and the, you know it had that uh, backlight glow but the picture was dark again and so the bright haze went away. I ordered a TCOM board at Amazon for about $50 but they also have um, a TV repair kit at shop, uh, shopjimmy.com. I'll post a um, link to that in the video description below if you're interested and if you give me a big thumbs up and uh, post a comment below if you're interested in um, that TCOM board TV repair kit. I could do that video for you guys. First thing you want to do is grab your multimeter and put it in DC mode. Okay, so we're going to check the input voltage coming from the main logic board. Black lead on a ground source, which is the chassis of the TV right here. And next we're going to put my positive on a test point and so this is a test point right here all these that you see right here are test points sometimes it could be lo located above the um, this connection but it's not safe to, um, to test all these pins right here because you could short them out so that's why they have separate test points over here on the side so uh, we're gonna check the ground it should be zero volts and it is zero DC volts if you have voltage uh, on the ground then you have something shorting the ground so, which is not good. Um, next, um, after the GND, which is ground test point, where we have the test point SDA, and that's 3.3, that is good. Next test point is VIN, which is 12.5, is good. And then SCL test point, 3.3. .3. And the next one is the TST, Test point zero, that's good. So nothing looks um, bad there. Let's move it all forward and see the output to the LCD panel. Now we know there's something wrong because we have a white washed out picture. So we're gonna check all these right here. So we, um, the test points on this side that you see right here, that goes to this ribbon cable connection. That's the output. And then this one, this set of test points right here, go to this ribbon cable connection. So let's go ahead and check this. And they're all labeled one, two, three, four, five, only up to 17 test points. So we got 9.9 .9 and it's solid. It's not jumping up or down, which is, that's what we're looking for. Test point two, 9.7, steady. Test point three, 9.5, steady. Test point four, 9.3, steady. Test point five, nine. Test point six, solid nine. Test point seven, solid eight, or close to nine. Test point eight, eight. Test point nine, eight volts. All right, so let's move on over and we can um, check these right here, starting with 12. It's a little bit different sequence. So 12 is actually over here. All right, so test point 12 is 0 0.5 and dropping. See how it's dropping right there? It's actually dropping pretty quickly. And test point 11, 0 0.6 and dropping. Test point 10, 0 0.8 and dropping fast. 
test point what is that 13 right here is uh, 0 0.4 Drew, looks like bouncing around uh, test point 14 0 0.4 test point 15 0 0.3 test point 16 0 0.4 test point 17 0 0.3 and yeah so that should not be that voltage and it should not be dropping or fluctuating like that unplug the power cord and then you want to squeeze this and remove that lift this up with your thumbnail and this should come straight out and you notice these lines right here well these lines are here because um, when you close the latch it should cover the line so just keep that in mind. If you don't do that, then you have lines on your screen. Now there is a metal plate that covers this board. So don't forget uh, if you ever replace this TCOM board, you have to put the metal plate on. And then uh, this is a thermal pad. And I highly suggest the thermal pad, um, putting the thermal pad on this is important, but I would also put it on this IC right here because this one tends to get hot. All right, let's go ahead and This is going to be the results of this, and we're going to check it out, make things easier. I'm going to put the screws in, just the ground screws. Okay. And if you're going to use a screwdriver like this, you want to put it on low torque so you don't like damage the board. All right. And when you close it, it should cover that black line. You might have to lift it up and down so it sits in properly. And see if the TV turns on. This is the results. Drum roll, please. And the results are, uh, I'm gonna turn off the light. Oh, look, we got a picture, guys. Nice, and it's nice and dark, and the colors are there, it looks like. So the TV is working. So yes, it was the TCOM board. But let's read the voltage on this board so you guys get an idea what the proper voltage is which may be really useful for you guys. We're gonna start off with test point one, going to, this, um, going to this connection actually, and that is solid, 15 volts solid, not moving. Test point two, 13, solid. Test point three, 12 volts solid. Test point four, 11 volts solid, not moving. Test point five, 10 volts. Test point six, ten point five, test point seven, ten point one, test point eight, nine point two, test point nine, eight point two, and it's solid. Now over here, this these test points are going to over here. And I got test point twelve. Now, see how the um, voltage is different? 5.6, solid, it's not moving. Uh, test point 11, 6.4, solid, not moving. Test point 10, 7, solid, it's not dropping. Test point 13, and that is solid, 5 volts. Test point 14, 4.8. Right, test point 15, 4.4. Test point 16, 3.5, solid. Test point 17, 2.6, solid. And then, if you guys are interested in these test points right here, uh, VSCM, 7 volts, CKV, 1.8, solid, STV, that's 0, uh, OE1, uh, 0 0.8, 
and then DRL1 3.3. So hopefully these voltages will help you out, troubleshoot your TV. If you're not getting these voltages right here, um, or these voltages right here are reading zero, then you most likely got a bad TCOM board, replace it. If these numbers over here are reading zero, then inquire about the um, power supply board or the main logic board. All right, so I cut out a little square from the old thermal pad, put it on the IC that gets really hot, and uh, shopjimmy.com shows you how to replace that IC. That video will be in the video description below. Okay, so now everything looks good. Double check your work, and let's go ahead and put this board on. Now there's a tab right here, and that sits down right in that hole. That fits right in that slot. So make sure you put that on first. There you go. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone at all that has picture problems on their LCD TV, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to, to them and help someone out. And if you want more how-to videos coming your way, go ahead and uh, subscribe to Tampa Tech and click on that link. And if you want to check out my TV repair playlist, click on this link right here. And if you guys are interested in a TV uh, repair kit or the TCOM board, check out the links in the video description below.